Hey guys, you see here from my trade price. Uh, just wanted to make a quick clip on the swing trading strategy, right? Uh, so it's still uh, not open on the Collective 2 platform, but I just wanted to make this video and share uh, what the strategy is, what does it look for, uh, and some of the back testing I did and some historical performance. Uh, I wanted to share that with you guys, okay? So, uh, to cut the long story short, the background of this strategy is that I always wanted to uh, capture the long uh, swings in the marketplace, in the stock, in the underlying name, right? So, for example, uh, this is what you're looking at as stock uh, is, a, is a NASDAQ, e-mini NASDAQ futures uh, contract, right? A daily chart. So, I, I wanted to find a strategy where I'm able to capture these kind of moves right these kind of swing moves where uh, the price of this underlying stock is moving for a short term to medium term uh, swing trading right something like that uh, so this is this should so because day trading is good right even the green box trading we're doing is good as well but I wanted to capture or try to try to find a strategy where where I'm able to capture such swings right uh, with minimal intervention uh, because uh, you know with, 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 with no active trading management uh, so the strategy that we came up it looks for such swing trades and the entry uh, criteria is based on few indicators it's a combination of few indicators and some price action based uh, patterns and uh, analysis right so I would say maybe 10%, 5% of the strategy is discretionary, right? Because I consider my levels uh, in, in, in taking uh, into account whether the, uh, uh, you know, the entry is good or if it should, and then overlay this, this two to three indicators and then come up with a rule to define strict entry and exit, right? And this in this strategy, you will always be in a trade. So once you come out of your, uh, uh, short trade uh, or long trade you will enter the other one right so what I did was I did a back test of this strategy going back two years right started from September 3rd of 2020 this strategy right here oops let me grab a different color so this strategy over here right I started from September 3rd 2020 it was a long trade the entry was 11 343 11.49.7 was my exit and you can see wherever I exit right wherever I come out of that trade the other trade that I get in is actually where I'm coming out of the previous trade right so so you'll see this sort of uh, uh, view where I'm exiting the trade I'm actually taking the opposite side of that trade and so if I was long I would be shorting so you're always in a trade right uh, there was no time when you're in cash you're just you know always in a trade basically one or the other okay so that's one of the aspects or attributes of this this trade so I back tested this thing so just quick some quick highlights right win ratio 64% right so that means out of the 22 total trades eight were negative and remaining were positive okay and if I were to take the average positive trade right if I count the average what is the average positive trade all it is about 732 points okay uh, per trade F average right and average losing trade was around 323 so that gives me an immediate way up risk to reward ratio of more than one to two which is good right so that means if I'm losing I'm losing one if I'm making I'm making more than two right so and as long as my winning ratio is more than 50 percent 60 percent that's nice that's awesome right so this is what it did the maximum drawdown uh, I saw uh, was or sorry maximum loss that I saw in this strategy in one of this uh, uh, one trade was this one right and you can see just observe something that the losing trade it does not go on for a long time right it gets you out I mean this was the most losing trade you were uh, you you know I could have been in this in there 26 days but rest of them were you know not more than 10 or this one 13 right so pretty quick uh, for, but for the daily for the positive trades you know the average uh, 
a number of days, you know, you are in a trade is close to 48. So I would say two and a half to three months, uh, right? Because these are trading days. Uh, actually, no, these are calendar days. So about still two and a half months, right? Three months, something like that. You have uh, uh, your average positive trade, right? So this is a swing trade date. It's not a day trade. So anyways, this is the profit and loss based on one contract of that futures uh, e-mini NASDAQ, right? So if you bought it at 11343 you exited here after 53 days you made 154 points or three thousand and eighty dollars on one contract okay and assuming your starting portfolio was fifty thousand after 22 trading trades that means after two years of trading this strategy while where you're always in a trade one way or the other your portfolio would have gone grown from fifty thousand to two hundred and three thousand before fees and commission that means a profit of 153 290 right this is all the breakdown of that strategy uh awesome right so what i did personally was i back tested it all the way till here right till uh till this july was the july was like the last back tested right uh data i had so this looked good so then i decided to take an actual short trade on August 24th, where I shorted NASDAQ at 12, 939. So this is an active trade for me where I'm uh, up in this trade about 810 points, right? Well, it is still open, so it's a floating PL, right? So if I go back to my uh, uh, chart here, you can see this is where, I sh where I'm short this, uh, uh, let me get the right color, where I'm short NASDAQ one contract at 12 939.5 and right now uh the open p and l is 16 4 70 right uh so th the market is still moving so that's why you keep the, the p and l is changing but but you get the idea right that's where i shorted right here uh, i saw a drawdown of 12 about close to 250 to 300 points right that was a drawdown i saw on this trade before it it, it broke down and it just kind of went towards the uh, intended direction okay so i did not take a, a stop loss on that one because it did not meet my exit criteria right it, it did not give me an indication to go long so as long as that's not going to tell me i will be in a trade right that's what i assume for all uh these past two years right and that's what the in, the data i got i think the maximum drawdown i saw uh or i'd say an average drawdown i saw was close to if i you know let's just see i don't remember because i did not record the drawdown but i think it was close to i mean yes there are occasions where i have these stop losses of 774 586 so that means if i have a maximum loss at 774 so it could have been where I had seen that drawdown, but if I recall correctly, and I'm being totally honest and transparent, I think the uh, the average drawdown was like 300, 280, 250 points, something like that. Uh, so yeah, I mean, if you want to tweak this, this you can furtherly tweak that to say, hey, if my loss is going to get more than average uh, loss that I have had so far in the past two years, which is 323 points, uh, just get me out but that means you will also cap some of the gains that you could have seen if the price started going in towards your intended direction right so anyways uh i'm just going to keep it simple i'm just going to get in the trade or get out of the trade when the strategy tells me and i wanted to share and keep everything transparent with you so this one is the first live actual trade the rest of this all is back tested data which looked good which looked nice and that's why i shorted this one and now whenever it gives me uh an exit that means that will be my long uh entry point at that level okay uh so yeah and i did the same thing with tesla i don't have the results actually shown in such a nice way uh, but you get the idea uh and i am short I'm, I'm going to be using collective two platform to play both of these strategies out you can go and uh, simulate this for free for right now but i'm not opening it up for subscription 
we'll do it uh, after some time i just want to have some more actual trades in there just so that you know everybody can see what what it actually looks like and what it actually does right i mean hypothetical data back tested data is one thing but but you know you want to feel that too so this is the tesla trade short uh, that it gave me from 287 it's still open uh so yeah all right hope you guys like it if you have any questions things like that please do not hesitate to contact us